We're seeing fashion, uh, one of its rare explosions of raw talent. A Japanese designer by the name of Rei Kawakuba and her company called Come Le Garçon. This is an instant in fashion that is very rare. It was in the collection she showed, uh, it'll be a year ago, this coming March. Most of the collections are concentrating on clothes that women and the human body can carry with ease. Madame uh, Kawakuba has always leaned to an art concept, and many times like a walking sculpture. But this time it hit the fashion world. It was nothing to do with the masses. And they were winter coats, but they wouldn't function in the winter because they were made of felted wool. So they got a sculptural effect. But in point of fact, when I saw them, when I saw the Picasso exhibit at the Guggenheim Museum, I thought, there it is, Picasso's cut out cardboard sculptures. And they, Madame Kawakuba's clothes lay flat on the floor, totally flat. They're not three-dimensional at all. It's one-dimensional, just as Picasso painted them. Then he bent the sculptures a little bit and gave them another look. Well, her coats, these coats you're looking here, take on another dimension when they put the human body in them. And then when you crossed over Fifth Avenue and you went to the Metropolitan Museum and you saw the Matisse exhibit, many of the colors reflected the Matisse blue and all of his other familiar colors. And at any rate, it's a, it was a wildly imaginative concept. But the second thing I thought of when I saw a woman this fall taking off her Come de Garçon coat as you can see, it's raw seam because there's no way you can, it's stiff as a board. It immediately reminded me of armor. And uh, in battle, how they had to move in armor. But I thought these coats of Madame Kawakuba, they were definitely that. They were stiff as a board. But the fashion world isn't about function and practicality at this area. This area, it's pure creativity and inspiration that I saw from a Matisse and Picasso and the Armour collection at the Metropolitan Museum.